Hi there, we're back for one more episode of our teeth journey. Let me just put my little baby down because she likes to make her little, her little show. Okay, sweetie. I'm so excited today because I'm really going to talk about this tea that was so big last year and had a huge following. But when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, sweet potato pie. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I think I liked it. Actually, I think I loved it. This is from David's Tea, and I know I've kind of had a on-again, off-again relationship with them. <laughs> but um, we're on again, for a little bit anyway. Uh, they came out with this one, you know, and so I'm going to talk about this one, because if you, if you know about it, then you know about it. If you like it, you love it. If you don't like it, you're just not... That's it. You know, there's there's lot, not really an in-between. It's not a tea that you're probably going to drink just because there's just too many great teas out there. And I would surely not expect you to drink a tea just because it's okay. Don't do that. Life is too short. Um, and there's too many teas out there. Don't you like these new glasses? I don't know. I'm going for a different look. I just... <laughs> I don't want to get started laughing because I'm not going to stop. I get giddy. Okay, sweet potato pie. DavidsTea.com, you know, they're based out of Canada, but they've been having really good delivery time. This comes out around fall, and it usually lasts till they sell out, which they've already sold out already this year. Uh, but I'm going to just really quickly go over the uh, ingredients. Black tea, it is a black tea, just so you know that. Pecans, rock sugar, cinnamon, butternut squash, sweet potato, marshmallow, and then there's some ingredients just pertaining to the marshmallow. They've got a couple natural flavors in here, allspice, um, and some natural flavoring. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger. Um, I think this all has to do with some of their, uh, maybe part of the marshmallow. I don't know. Anyway, it does contain pecans. Uh, hold on. My finger. Okay, so anyway, like I said, it sold out already once when it first appeared again, I want to say the beginning of hmm, October maybe? I don't know. I jumped on it because I knew that was going to happen. So anyway, huh? let me take these off. It's really good. It's good plain. It's good with a little bit of uh, creamer. And I'm going to show you my new little teaware. And um, it's absolutely really good in an iced latte. So you're thinking, okay, wrap your mind around sweet potato pie. I don't even know if you've had sweet potato pie, but it's actually, I like it better than pumpkin. And maybe it's just because pumpkin to me is something we've had for years when I was little, and it was okay. But sweet potato, you know, you kind of go to a little place that, you know, from a, a southern cooking, you know, and they've got okra and they've got sweet potato. Sweet potatoes have really got a great flavor, and when they know how to make it well, it's, I mean, it's very similar to pumpkin. It's, I think it's a little sweeter than pumpkin, but the fact that they have it in here, and it really, you can taste, well, I'm going to take a little sip, okay? This is um, from T2T, and I just love black and white. I've always loved black and white. As you can tell behind me, I love black and white. And I just thought it was so cool. Very art deco y kind of different. I just have literally a dash of like a little creamer in here, and that's it. There's nothing flavored in the creamer, nothing else. It You could tell it. The pumpkin, the actual pastry taste of the, it's like almost not biscuity, but like a. Like a pumpkin pie, like a, like a pie, like a pie crust, okay? So sweet potato pie crust, and then just a very, very light dash of cinnamon. Really, really good. Okay, <laughs> there's my slurping. Few things that I want to talk about today, but anyway, this is really good, and even if you just want to try it, the problem that it, it is again, uh, with David's tea for people that live in the US you know it's ten dollars to ship and that's a lot of money especially when these are like 998 maybe 1098 
So what I would say is if you really want to do it, there is a website, uh, David's Tea on Facebook. It's David's Tea. There's David's Tea fans and then there's David's Tea resale where people sell like the David's Tea Nordic mugs and different things and they sell tea. They do have promo codes on there. If you just put in the header like promo code, sometimes they'll have discounts, but also David's Tea will do um, free shipping for $35 or they'll do uh, free shipping. Usually it's free shipping for 50, but sometimes they alternate it. And uh, one time I saw actual free shipping. So if you can do that, it might be worth it just to try. Or another thing sometimes is if you have a friend that likes tea, split the fee. If you know you there, if you can find twenty-five dollars worth of tea on the site that you really like, let that person go in with you, and then you have free shipping. Just a thought. Okay. So what I want to talk about today too is another tea that I really like by Blend and a Burden Blend, and it is out of Canada also. Okay, this one is really unique to me. Um, it's called Brighton Rock, and it's one of their, I think it's one of their uh, top sellers, at least one of their very big classics that they have done, and it's wonderful. It, um, if you like a little bit of mint, not overpowering mint, okay, it's a fresh and minty stick of Brighton Rock and absolute seaside essentials. So I am assuming this is an oolong too. I'm assuming that it's based off of some kind of candy that's along some area. I don't know if they're basing it off the Brighton Rock store. I'm a, I don't know. I'm not even going to go anywhere with this. I don't like the way these glasses are glaring on them. Okay. I might have to go back to my other ones. Anyway, uh, it's oolong, peppermint, blue pea flower, sprinkles, and it also has beetroot, beetroot, root, I'm sorry. <laughs> red glazing, agent carnauba wick, spirulina, red peppercorns, and natural flavoring. Okay, so I should have brought my little, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you to see this. But if you look, oh, you can see it. Okay. You see, there's like little red peppercorn. It's really good tea. And it's, I'm almost done with it. I'm going to have to order some more. But it's really, really delightful. Very refreshing. Just a little bit of mint. Remember, this has to be um, steeped at oolong temperature, which is lower than your high boiling point. Okay? I absolutely am not liking these glasses. Okay. Sorry. And I don't edit. So that's going to be in there. <laughs> okay. Want to bring up one special tea that I love. We're into fall, so I'm just hitting it here and saying, don't forget, Harney and Sun. You can probably find this in the grocery store. It's the Hot Cinnamon Sunset. And I know that the grocery store, when you see it, uh, it will have it probably non-loose because they do tend to carry... Jesus, one of those days. They do tend to carry... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. They do tend to carry four times now the um, bag tea. Okay. This is like ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I have to show you the tea. Look at that. It is a sight to behold. And I know you're seeing it because I'm seeing it. Just chunks of cinnamon bark. It's And, and it's not... It's strong cinnamon in a way that you know it's cinnamon. If you like cinnamon, you're going to love this tea. It's not, I don't think it's hot cinnamon like hot. It's sweet cinnamon. Big difference, okay? So, uh, on this particular one, jeez, look at that. Okay. Anyway, on this one, black tea, orange peel, and you can smell the orange peel. That's some of the chunks that you've seen in there. Natural and artificial cinnamon flavor, cinnamon and clove, and it's not clovey like, ugh, you know, it's it's really good. Okay, hold on, I just have to take a sip of water. Which brings me to my next point. <laughs> David's tea. 
So these came out not too long ago and they came out in a really pretty pink, baby pink. I'm not a pinky person, but I did like it. You know, I, I liked it. It was a very pretty pink. Okay, sorry. I don't know what was happening with that. Uh, I do like teal. I've always liked teal. That's probably my more favorite color if I had to choose between pink and teal. Regardless, I ordered them. And, you know, I know some people that got them were worried that they were going to scuff. That wasn't the issue. I'm going to tell you what happened. Mine stained. I, I was in direct sunlight and all of a sudden I'm looking at these yellow stains. They look like mustard stains. And I had them on both of them. So I don't know if it's something that came up from the silicone. I, I don't know. This really threw me. If any of you have these and you've had them happen, you have to take them out in the sun almost because you probably can't see this stain. I bet you can't see it. But I could. And once I saw it, I don't know if you're like me, that's all I was looking at. I mean, I was at the gym and I was like, what the, I look like, you know, it looked like I didn't wipe it off and I didn't have anything with mustard on. So, and then to have it on both of them, it happened on this one and the pink one. I wasn't going to call David's tea because I figured, you know what, I'm not going to bother with it. It's just, and of course, both of the bottoms came out. These are, I love these cups because they're screw top. Okay. This, if you push it down really hard, it is, you know, you can stick it in something and it won't go anywhere, the liquid. You know, it'll, it can move around. But the little bottom part I like because it is rubber and it prevents you from banging the bottom. Otherwise, you've got full metal. Uh, and it took me a while to figure out how to get it glued back in. And this has happened probably on every single one of the ones I've ordered from them. There might have been one that it didn't fall out of. And kind of, I'm waiting, you know. Some of them fell out right from when I took them out of the package. They just, I don't know what kind of glue. It's like they just didn't use much glue at all. I used a uh, craft glue that didn't hold it in. So finally I used like a nail, a fingernail glue, you know, and because I needed something more like a Loctite type glue, and it stayed in, and I was happy for that, so we'll see how long. But anyway, like I said, the relationship with David's tea is on again, off again. It was off during this because I wasn't happy. It's on now because of this. So, okay. Want to tell you just a few other things because I, I want you to know that now your grocery stores, if you're not somebody that cares to ever order online, and that's cool, you know, but you like tea, you're probably getting your teas maybe from the grocery store. You know, some people get them from Etsy, so you can get it from anywhere, but... Uh, there are two teas I just want to mention that I like a lot. Celestial, they have a lot of assortment now, and this is from last winter, but their peppermint tea is really good. And this is really, really good. The Sweet Harvest Pumpkin. These are both this. Actually, this one might have been. No, I'm pretty sure they're both last year. Um, really good. So consider those. If you're in the grocery store then I want to tell you another thing that I do and I, this is like my little treasure tip when you get down to a tea let's just say something like this size okay and you've only got just a little bit left you know but it's nowhere near enough for a cup put it in a tin okay now this just happens to be the blueberry green from Harney, which is another cult following. Really, really good. Anyway, I had just a little bit left in here, okay? And so I thought, well, what am I going to do with it? Well, what I did was I emptied out all of my fruit and herbal and, and um, green tea. I don't drink a lot of green tea. My husband does. But anyway, whatever I had left over that was fruity, that would, you know, and they all went together. And it, and all of a sudden, it made this wonderful blend. Because, you know, you might have like a, a teaspoon left, and it's not going to be enough for maybe, or maybe you drink a, a 10 or 12 ounce mug, and you take two full perfect spoons or, or two tablespoons, whatever. If you don't have enough left, put it in and make yourself this great concoction that you will never be able to create again. So it's kind of a <laughs> one-time deal, but it's gonna be good trust me and I have also have a tea for my black teas same thing 
if you have a black tea. Now, what I did with one of them, I should probably go get it, but uh, I did all my black coconut and nut teas together. So, in other words, whatever I had left of coconut, black tea, nut, black tea, coconut, and whatever, cinnamon, you know, whatever they were, it, the ones that were getting really low, I put them all in one particular tin. This one has my black teas. Mm, and this is just like a little bit of, you can smell a little lavender in here. I mean, it's just a combination of a lot of really great teas I had, just a little bit left, okay? Because what are you gonna do? Uh, are you gonna make an espresso cup for tea? You know, like, no, it's not worth it. So just blend them, blend, 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 yeah. blend them together, think outside the box. Yeah. Always think outside the box, you know? And that leads yeah. me to my next thing, and then we will be finished. I was cleaning out my tea cabinet, and I had ordered this mm, maybe eight or nine months ago, and then it ended up pushed back, and now it's front forward. I don't know if you've ever tried Creo Brew. I believe it was originally for people that wanted to get off of coffee. This is not a hot chocolate. It's ground cocoa bean, okay? And the reason I'm telling you about it, yeah, it's 100% pure. So if you, put, if you were to put this in hot water, it's not going to dissolve. You need to brew this the way you would brew coffee or tea. So what I think, and this is, I've already done this, is I just take a little bit of this. Maybe I'll take a tablespoon of my tea, okay, and that I'm going to blend it with, and I take a teaspoon of this. Or if I really like it, I might take a teaspoon and a half or two teaspoons. But this particular, it, it really enhances your tea in a very subtle way way if you don't want a heavy chocolate but you want a little chocolate or let's say that you have a tea that you're not so thrilled with it has kind of a neat front you can open it like that um, let's say that you have a tea okay so that's what it looks like okay and it smells really good mm. it smells like the middle of the best chocolate bar you could ever have um, so feel free to add this to something that maybe you want to enhance a little bit. You know, I'm all about that. <laughs> now, if there's something you can do to enhance a flavor in something, granted, most of these teas, they stand on their own. But you're going to invariably find one or two that kind of falls short. And this is great. I have mixed it with um, Adagio's Banana Nut. I've mixed, oh God, I can't even remember how many I've mixed it with, but you can experiment. You can put it just with a plain black tea just for a little bit of sweet chocolate flavor, you know? And in fact, I, there's nothing in here but the ground coffee beans, to the best of my knowledge. That's all it has in here. You can French press it. Okay, that's another option. But according to this, there is no anything. It's just... 37 calories for two tablespoons, and this says 100% ground cocoa beans, okay? Just a thought. Now, what I want to tell you is if you go online to creobrew.com, they have other flavors. I believe there's a pumpkin spice. There's peppermint. They might have a salted caramel. I don't know. But there's all sorts of things you can do with this. And there are flavored things you can do with this. So just another thought to enhance or even to use alone. Nobody says everything has to be about tea. You know, you might have a taste for, maybe you can have a cup of coffee and you want to put it in your coffee. Maybe you want to have it plain. But don't expect that it's going to give you the mouth feel of instant cocoa because it's not instant cocoa. And probably a lot of this type of thing, like when you see uh, cocoa nibs in a tea, it, it comes from the cocoa bean. So just a thought. It's my little my little treasure tip for today. <laughs> okay. And that's it. That's where we are at. I've enjoyed being with you. I hope that I've taken your mind off things in this crazy time we're all in. Um, until next time, you guys have a really good afternoon.